Hey, what's up guys? I figured I'd make another video. Um, I don't really have anything else to do, so why not? Um, you know, these, these past few, I, I guess months, I guess it's been months, I've just gone completely downhill just with hallucinations and voices and delusions and paranoia and uh, this, this past week especially, I've been battling with this just crazy amount of paranoia that I know, I know in my head is just not, it's, it's not real, but there's, there's a part of me that just can't grasp that, and it's, it's scary, but I just wanted to make a lighter video, I guess, not so much depressing or delving into the depressive part of it, but, um, I really feel, like, at peace with myself, I mean, these past couple of days I really haven't had any emotion, and, um, I found out you know, six, five, six months ago that my fiance was pregnant, and I'll be honest, I was, I was excited, but I was, I was scared shitless, I mean, how is a schizophrenic gonna raise a kid, you know, and that, that terrified me, and how am I gonna explain to my kid, you know, I've got these problems, and, you know, what's, what's my kid gonna think of me in the future, or, you know, there and now, or what if I do lose control and my kids around, like, what are they going to think of their father? You know, what are they going to say? You know, it's like their friends or, you know, whatever. It's just shit I worried about. And this past week, I've just been completely emotionless. I've, I haven't, I haven't really been able to feel emotion, happy, sad, you know, ups or downs. I just kind of been coasting through life, just, yeah, just coasting, you know? But, um, I found out that I'm having a, I'm having a baby girl, and she's due the day after my birthday, which is, which is pretty cool. I mean, part of me wants to share my birthday with my child, because I think that would be, that'd be pretty stellar, but... The other part of me doesn't want to, so my child doesn't feel, you know, well, I have this father with this problem, and now I'm sharing a birthday with him, or feel selfish in any way that, you know, we're sharing a birthday together, so on one hand, it'd be cool to have, you know, my birthday shared with my baby, but on the other hand, it'd be cool if she had her own. But I guess it doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, I've just, I've I just felt at peace lately. Like, I haven't really been too awful depressed. I mean, I've, I have my moments where, um, I'm not with it or, um, I, you know, my voices get a little too much for me to handle at a certain moment in time or for a day or an hour or however long they last for, but, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm at peace right now, and it feels, it feels nice, um, I'm Christian, so I'll, I guess I'll give that background information, flame if you must, um, I have, long arm, I have a cross tattooed on my arm, and, um, I've just been praying a lot lately, you know, that God will come into my life and give me a new heart and renew myself and just help me, you know, just help me find who I am and, you know, what I'm, what I'm here for, what I'm, what I'm supposed to do. And just these, these past few days, I mean, even with the, uh, the emotionlessness, I've just... I just felt this peace, and it's just, it's nice, it's really, really nice to finally have, I mean, my meds still aren't working for me, 
and I I do have uh, hallucinations still, and you know I'm not cured by any means, but I'm just I I feel I feel good. I mean, I guess that's I guess that's an emotion. So that's that's pretty nice. I I feel good. Um. What else was I gonna say? I did want to dive into the schizophrenia more too, still though. And I'm sorry that this video is already five minutes long. I'm sure you're either turning it off or about to turn it off. But um, I have an MRI coming up, and my neurologist pretty much told me that with a diagnosis like schizophrenia, they should have done an MRI straight off the bat, which I don't really understand. Because there's plenty of schizophrenics out there. I mean, normal people like you and I. And then there's famous people who have had MRIs done as a schizophrenic. And they they don't come back showing much of anything, if anything at all, except for a brain. Which I obviously have, because I'm alive. And I just don't see where that fits into anything. I completely lost track of my thought of what I was going to say to that. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a short-term memory test coming up soon, too. Um, I'm off track now. I don't know what I was going to say. But, yeah. Um, I'm, tr I'm, I'm on disability right now, and I'm really trying to get off of it. Um, I hate that I'm so limited... The fact that I can only have, you know, 2000 in the bank, and once me and my uh, wife get married, I can only have 3000 in the bank, and because I'm on SSI as well, then if I get a car, it can only be worth $1,000, because she has a car that's worth more than $1,000, and just all the limitations are bullshit, and what they give you to live on is, is crap. So, uh, I went up and talked to, uh, a good friend of hers who, uh, runs a car dealership, and, um, I'm hoping, they told me to give them a call to, uh, in a week, give them a call in a week, see if I can't get a job there, selling cars, or doing something, I mean, cars have always been a passion of mine, and so is sales, so, I'm hoping that if I get it, I can excel, and that they'll keep me around, but, uh, yeah, I really just want to step up, you know? Even with all these problems, I feel like I can push past them. I feel like anyone with any any problems, you know, if if given the right mindset and they're not, you know, completely lost and, like, detached completely can really push themselves. And I'm, I'm hoping that I can. I'm hoping I'm one of those people that can just, you know, push past all the bullshit and start a life for myself instead of, you know, being on disability and doing shit all day and, you know, not feeling worthy of anything. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling peaceful and it's, it's pretty nice. It's, it's a nice relaxed feeling and I don't, I don't feel much pressure, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, if you guys have any questions or whatever about my symptoms or when they started or how I deal with them or anything like that, you know, just shoot me an email or drop a comment. I check it pretty much daily and see if there's anything new or any questions. Or if you're having problems, you know, and it's similar... If you look at my other videos, you can you can del dive more into my schizophrenia and what it's like for me to have it. You can send me an email at writingtales at yahoo.com. It's the same as my YouTube account, only it's at Yahoo. Um, you could message me on here, but I honestly don't even know if I have messages because I never check them. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to help any way I can and talk and you know, see if, see if we can be on the same page, and see if I can help you out, see if I can offer some guidance, so, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I had for today, see you later, guys.